it is provincial. And again, that's the tricky part, but that's part of the complexity of being part of a federation is that there's this delineation of powers and healthcare that falls under healthcare, which is a provincial issue. So then it's up to the provinces to decide how much of it is public and how much is privatized. And as long as provincial governments are really infatuated with this idea of balancing budgets, but keeping taxes low, then they're going to find ways to privatize public services, including long-term care. We saw during the pandemic that privatized long-term care was a big deal. And we saw huge numbers. In fact, according to a website put out by the Canadian Labor Congress, Canada had the worst record for COVID-19 deaths in long-term care homes compared to 21 other countries. So the international average of the deaths in long-term care and retirement homes across the 22 countries was 41%. For Canada alone, it was 69%. And during the first wave, it was 79%, almost double the international average. So yeah, privatizing long-term care is ridiculous. Privatizing healthcare in general is ridiculous because you cannot provide the same level of service at the same price and generate a profit. It is literally impossible. You cannot do it. If you're going to generate profit, you either have to reduce your service or you have to reduce your costs. And that generally means cutting corners or firing workers or whatever happens to me. It's just impossible possible. And so then you end up where we ended up last year, last spring. And then we also end up with um, a healthcare system that isn't prepared for a pandemic because they said, well, we have all the stockpile goods that we don't need. And so we'll just not stockpile so much and we'll save a bunch of money. And then the pandemic comes and oh, well, we don't have enough, right? Because we're trying to provide this, this corporate just-in-time concept into healthcare, which is ridiculous. It would be tricky. The federal government provides funding to provincial governments for healthcare. I don't know how much leeway they have for restricting exactly what it goes towards. Provinces get around it by using public funds to pay for private provided health services. So they can privatize health services as long as they pay for it through the public fund. So that's how they get around it, uh, just like they do with long-term care. So long-term care is still kind of public because it's paid for with public funds and that's sort of how they get around it. So.